In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using Post-Trans to create a Sage Line 50 product adjustment. Firstly, by entering each product code line by line, and then we're going to create a stock list to work from, which will enable us to enter simple quantities against the product lines and ignore all other items that we haven't entered the stock quantity against. We can also post nominal journal stock adjustments, invoices and sales quotes using Post-Trans, and we can also help use it to help us manage bill of materials, stock list, price lists, and much, much more. It also is quite feature rich in that it provides in-sales searching and validation of codes as it posts. Today I'll be demonstrating it with SageLine 50, but it also the same functionality will be available for SageLine 200. Okay, let's get on with the demonstration and create a post-trans template to create stock adjustments or product adjustments in the SageLine 50. I'm going to go to the post trans for Sage toolbar and I'm going to press import. Now we haven't got a template open so it's going to ask me to create a new template because uh, it uses the cell A1 to put in a tag which tells post trans what the template or the spreadsheet function is for post trans. Currently it's blank so therefore it's asking me to create a new one. Let's press yes. And you can see here it's listing all those tags that could be in cell A1, which denotes the purpose of the template. And I'm just going to select the top one there, which creates a product adjustment template. So you can see now Post Trans has just created a basic template. I'm just going to cancel the training video because I don't need to see the training video. And it's worth watching the training video because it explains how all this works. But effectively, we have a series of tags listed on the right hand side here, which we can put in various parts of the spreadsheet to create the template. The top part is for all the header fields and in a product adjustment it's pretty simple because it's adjustment type plus reference. And down below we can define a load of tags in row 28 which tell post trans what to find in the lower part which represents the lines of the transaction. And these are from row 30 onwards. So adjustment type here we can enter what the product adjustment type will be. If I press space and tab away, we have in-cell searching, so we can see all the possible codes. So I'm going to move some product into my product list, and I can put a reference in there of Sam. Now, the products, we're going to add a key. So I know the stock type, so I'm typing key and I'm tabbing away. Now, this is the first time I've connected to this, or sorry, it's a new template, so it's just asked me, what Sage company we want to work with. And the username has already been retained because I've entered it before and ticked remember. So that's not asked me to log in. So I'm just going to enter, I'm shifting in two there. And you can see there it's brought through the cost price and it's just updated the total cost. We've also got the current free and in stock quantity levels, which are live from Sage Line 50. Now, I can't remember all my stock codes, so I'm just going to do a word search. So I'm going to press space, HRD, hard, and tab away. That's now found all my hard disks there. You can see those nicely displayed. You can also see the free and on order quantity. So we can just enter that, and I'm going to move three of those in. Now, we also saw there that we used hard, and we had three three stock item product items that matched the word hard. I'm going to just type in 30G, so the space 30G, which will search for 30 gig hard drive. And you can see there was only one match, so therefore it's filled it in and not presenting me with that list again. So there we've created a stock adjustment of three items. So I'm just going to delete that tip there. Um, and like I say, we can see the overall cost, etc. So I'm just going to press import button on the post trans toolbar. Now, what post trans has now done is it's read the spreadsheet. You can see that by the one, two and three on the on the line here on this on the status and it's given me a confirmation window that's told me what i'm about to post so i can just simply post that into sage and that's saved that stock adjustment into sage now we can further extend this functionality and obviously we could have moved it in or out simply by changing the values of the type so i could just select out and that would move the stock out what I'm now going to do is I'm going to create a list. And if you've seen our um, quick order entry, we do this with orders. We can have an option turned on that says ignore zero quantities. So I'm just going to answer yes. That will turn that option on in system settings. And I'm just going to say get all products from Sage. Now, on the filter and order, I can actually say 
specify category numbers so I could get certain products from my under my stock category and I can have them grouped but I'm just going to say get everything so I've just selected that selection there and I'm just going to press OK you can now see we have a list of products and let's just set the type again to in now let's set it to out this time which is two so now we're going to do a stock adjustment out and I'm just going to go down here now the first item here this third item down I'm just going to enter a figure against it now it's in negative stock so you would hope it's not going to allow me to adjust those out I'm just going to demonstrate that so I can put a five in there uh, what else have we got we could say take two of these out and of course we could use this for write-offs so essentially we've got three items we've just selected one of which is insufficient stock so just doing that for a test so now let's press import now post trans has read it but it's highlighted the item that is, has insufficient stock so we can make the decision of whether we want to post the other two or correct it so let's just go in and now let's just post it so let's just post that and you can see there it says posted two items and one has an error and it's marked this no free stock uh, minus 20 quantity against that stock item as we expected so you can see there we've used a list and of course we could save that down so we could pull it or we could email it to someone and they could create a list of items that they want from our stock uh, and then bring it back and post it back into sage line 50. now we use the extract button and again this is true for the sales order quick order entry pad uh, if we press the extract button here we have a button down the bottom here that says update the price list with the latest prices and stock levels so if we note there we've got 138 and we've just moved five in we'd expect that value to change so i'm just going to press that and you can see now it says 133 so we moved five out and basically it's up, updated any costing changes or product level changes within sage of course i use the extract button to create the list of products in the first place but there's no reason why you can't create your own list there and then use this button to fill in the rest of the spreadsheet so I hope you see there that's quite a handy way of and flexible way of creating a product adjustment for Sage Line 50. If you're watching this video from YouTube, to go to our website, simply click on the link in the description below. If you're already on our website, you can scroll down slightly and below this video you'll probably see some related links to associated articles. Let's just show you some of the resources on the website switch over here's the home page you can see here we have a series of menus at the top and if you allow them to expand you can see there all the different types of importation or extraction you can use with post trans and sage and also the transactions you can post but importantly there's a training section here if we go to the training section that describes in detail how to alter a post trans template using the tags that we briefly discussed in the demonstration also on the website is a blog which you can subscribe to and I thoroughly recommend that so then you can learn of new functionality and uses of post trans because each of these articles maybe hones in on a particular function, a particular tag or a particular way of using the product to do a particular um, job. For instance, expanding bill of materials on an order, code searching, protecting templates, importing CSV files, pricing, managing VAT, order currency, you name it, it's all in there. Uh, and that is easily accessible from the software itself. So if I switch back to a template, and this one's an order template, and I've just got the tag window open here on the right. But you'll see as I scroll down, this one here, um, TL description, which is the actual product description, actually has a blog article. So clicking on there takes me to that blog article and explains in great detail the implications of using that tag and the many different options, maybe in system setups, alters and behavior of that tag. So hopefully that will help. Also, we have uh, the help button itself on the button bar which takes you to kind of a context sensitive help um, and also takes you to the training page which explains how to manipulate and alter that template and in addition to all that of course we have these blue help buttons here which are easily accessible they're also in the setup windows within post trans so again that takes you to a blog article for instance this one's about 
making the cursor follow a certain path. That will then take you to that article and explain how you customize that individual functionality. So there I hope you've seen um, many different functions and um, online resources that we provided you to enable you to customize Posttrans to create a template to uh, help you or your customers. So I uh, thank you very much for watching this video.